Oh no, this is problematic. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Everybody has a digital footprint. Will our guests be shocked by theirs? Hi, I'm Kira Green and welcome to Digital Footprint where we scour the internet for images on our guests to make them sweat. Today we have Zolita. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I know her as Zoe, but Zolita the artist. How are you doing? I am great. I'm very excited for this. I am too. Tell them about yourself. Well, I'm a singer-songwriter and I am also a director and I make music videos and I like to say that I make music videos uh, or make music so I can make the music videos. They're mm -hmm. like little short films. And, and they're very hot. Yes, they're very hot and very gay. And <laughs> Kira was one of my lovely love interests. Twice. 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 Yeah. I'm, I play Olivia. She but reprised her role as Olivia. I did. Yeah. I did. But <laughs> I'm so excited to have you on today because I think we're going to deep dive into a couple different images, I guess. The different eras. The different me. eras. I've had a lot of very interesting eras. Are you see. nervous at all of what we might pull up? I'm mostly excited. Oh, I no love, nerves. I love going back into the eras and okay. like... Yeah, no, this is going to be fun. So there's not one thing that you think we might have found um, that might make you squirm in your seat a little, a little bit. bit. Maybe a little maybe bit. Maybe a little bit? Yeah, yeah. July 4th, 2018. Oh, gosh, 2018, July mm -hmm. 4th. I must have been in New York City okay. still. Oh, good memory. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? What, were you, what was going on in your life at that time? Um, I was still in a relationship with the girl who then I found out Cheated on me with five guys. That's terrible. <laughs> so bad. Maybe it's an old couple's photo. Wait, Should we go down oh memory no. lane? Let's see. Yeah, let's look. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> she was there, but yeah, that's did a Did she take the photo? Show. She did take the photo, yeah. <laughs> and cheated on you with five guys. Wow, what a yeah. time. Mm -hmm. So what's, what's going on How here? How could she? I just loved that shirt. Sit on my the face. The Norris face, like sit on my face. I thought it was really funny, yeah. Was that kind of you wearing it for her? Like, was it a message straight, Maybe, straight to the source? Yeah. From the source? Yeah, probably yeah. was a little bit of a message. I just have, I have a really fun gay shirt collection, and this is, is one of them. What's your favorite? My favorite, uh, maybe the one that says U Dyke on it, it has a U Haul. That one's pretty good. Yeah. And then we add in the American flags. Ex We're just, yeah. yeah. American. You know, yeah, I feel like, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't posted with the American flag in a pretty long time. So this was the first time this or the last time? Probably or? the last time, I would say. Interesting. Okay. And then we have some some blue eyeshadow. Some red. It's, it's really yeah. a statement piece, this photo. Yeah, yeah. Did you know at this point no, that you were know. being cheated on? I didn't on? know. No? Was I didn't know. Look at how happy I was. I didn't know I it was coming that. for me. How often, like how soon after this did you find out? Um, like a month. Okay. Yeah. So you had a little bit more happiness left. I did. I had a month left of happiness and ignorance. July 21st, 2013. Oh my God. Oh, this is my first summer back from college. Was it a good college year? Were you were you in a I time loved of it. happiness or I was a time out of sadness? I was had come out of the closet. I was that year. Yes, oh. that year, and I feel like I was very loud and proud about it. So maybe it's something to do with that. Maybe instead of the American flag, it's a rainbow a gay flag. flag. Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh, <laughs> you don't smoke cigarettes. What is this? I went to, this is in Venice in Italy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. bougie. And I was like, yeah, definitely in my, heavily listening to Lana and in my Tumblr kind of This does era. give Tumblr. Right, yeah. yeah. So I was like, I'm in Venice, Italy. I'm gonna do a photo shoot with a cigarette even though I've never smoked was a cigarette in my cigarette? life. Was it a fake cigarette? No. That was a real cigarette. <laughs> that was your first time smoking a cigarette for I this photo. I didn't even smoke it. I don't think, I, I think someone else probably smoked some of it for me or something. What are you like, like, what are, what are you thinking in your what face right thinking? there? It's just so, it's the I, drama, the drama. Yeah, I think I just wanted to look like angsty. Yeah, like, well, I was just off. like, this is gonna be my new profile. But Facebook was still the thing. So I was like, this is was gonna be- Was this your Facebook pr profile? Yes, oh, absolutely. <laughs> for how long? Uh, maybe like a year. Okay. Yeah. And did you get a lot of likes? <laughs> I feel like I got a lot of likes. I feel like if I saw this photo and I like yeah. a girl that I was going, to, I'd be like, she's so cool. Oh, thank you so much. Like, that's, that's exactly what I was trying to do. Yeah, <laughs> succeeded. I'm in high school here. Um, April. Was high school like good or bad for you? I loved high school. <laughs> I you loved would. It You're so like much. a social butterfly. Like no one doesn't like you. It's you know what. People didn't like me some of the years. I had like a different era every single year of high school, which mm -hmm. is kind of fun because I can look back and be like, oh, that was the that was the horse girl year. Like that was the year I was like, very, like you're back in horse girl. I'm era. back in my horse girl era for yeah. sure. But this was my last year, which was kind of the year where I was like, oh no, I'm gay, and I didn't. But I had not told anybody yet, so I was kind of like, oh, still in the closet. Nobody really knows me for who I am. <laughs> so still in the closet. Still in the closet. How did you come out? I came out just my first week at NYU. 
And uh, I didn't really, I think I was just started posting stuff with girls. I didn't really like have a big coming out moment. Well, let's see if we yeah. can see the gay in this photo. <laughs> Oh my god. What is this? I genuinely don't know, but it's giving almost like gaga. Oh my god. So this was your model time. But they're model was, guys. Yes. I like work it was like a hair company. It was like, we want you to like model for our hair company. And I thought I was so I was 16 and I thought I was I put a whole entire Facebook album of photos from this photo shoot and I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. So you're like, proud. I'm a model. Would you wear that hair now? You know what? It's kind would of you even redo this Gaga. Gaga. It's a little Gaga. Maybe I would. I'm like seeing the gay though. That's what I mean. Like yeah. I literally said that, and it's coming through. I think I could do that. Maybe I should revive that hair in the next music, next music yeah. video. Yeah. Here you go. We're gonna need you to explain. Mm -hmm. Well, this is maybe this is when I'm teasing. This is when I'm teasing the video and song that's gonna be about the ex that cheated on me a bunch because I kind of exposed her in the song and like also used a bunch of the guy's name, actual names. The actual. <laughs> In the song. When um, artists do that, what's going through your mind that you're like, I'm actually gonna put this human's name in so this song? I was so mad. And I was kind of like, these, these guys don't deserve to be spared because they knew we were in a relationship. They were aware. They, and okay. yeah, so I just did it. I don't know if it's something I would do again now as an older person, but. <laughs> did they ever time, find out that? Yes. Yes, they did. Did you ever like see them or have any kind of? Yeah, one of them actually recently, like a, like a few months ago, came up to me at a bar. I had no idea who he was, but he was like, hey, like, Zolita? And I was like, hi. And he was like, it's me, three out of 10 Ben. That was oh, his. Oh, damn. And that was what I said in the song. Like, you met a three out of 10 and called him Ben. And you just did like a little hair flip and walked away. Yeah, and he, he was like, or he goes, it was really, it was fair. <laughs> Literally nothing to do with it. Baby Zoe! Aww. Oh my god, from my mom's account. Wow. Honestly, a lot of moms Aww. be exposing their children. I think this was just Halloween and... You're a princess. Yeah, I always had the best Halloween costumes. I have to thank my mother for that. I feel like growing up, I was like, didn't want to do homemade costumes because it wasn't cool. And I was mm -hmm. like, I want to go buy the one at the Spirit of Halloween. But she made me the most cute, like, homemade costumes. She made it for you? Oh yeah, always made me costumes. And so definitely appreciate that. What's been your most iconic Halloween costume? All the Gaga all ones. All the Gaga ones that I do are always the most iconic ones. Mm -hmm. um, and I do a different Gaga every year. So probably my favorite one is the telephone one I did, or maybe the meat dress I did last last year. I saw your meat dress. That yeah. was that was pretty good, right? That was I, sti I stitched that one myself. So you I got did. your mama skills. I did. Okay. I love a homemade Halloween costume. I don't know what I was doing. Oh no, I was in college. I was in college. It was right at the beginning of NYU. I had oh. just come out probably. Where were you at that point in your life? Um, How were things going for you? I think it was good. I was so happy. I was just like, oh my God, I've been in New York and everyone's gay. Is that when you came out? Yes. And my roommate like hooked up with a girl within the first like few days. This is before I came out. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like she's going to be fine when I tell her. Like oh. it was just so your so... roommate was gay? Yeah. Did you guys hook up? No. Oh. Absolutely not. So I hear from a lot of people, like you said, you got to yeah. New York, you're in college. Why wait until then? Were you in like kind of a harder situation growing up? Like, so I feel like it, my parents would have been fine with it. Um, but, and even though I, I grew up near LA, I was in a small suburb called Agora. And it's still at that time, specifically, like there was one out gay guy and one out gay girl at my school. And it was, you said there just wasn't kids. a lot of representation. <laughs> and, yeah. And I also, I feel like I would have come out if I had like had a crush or like actually was in like a secret relationship or something, mm -hmm. like then I would have probably come out in high school. But I was like, well, what's the point? Like, I'm not like trying to actively like date anybody here anyways. And yeah. I know I'm going to NYU. It's like going to college, you're re it's like a reinventing of yourself no, and like getting sure. to start with a blank slate. So do when like, your oh. friends from like back home found out that you were queer, yeah. do you feel like they would, were surprised or do you feel like they probably no, knew? Not at all. Not, but most people Why? weren't surprised. All of my photography I did in high school was so gay and it was just like all only women and like I just yeah, I definitely Didn't you was, go to prom in a suit too? I went to prom. Something? Yeah, I went to yeah. homecoming in a suit. I brought a girl to prom, like the the closet. So you were like you the were... closet was so glass. Like <laughs> it was so glass. So the, the closet no was, one was shocked. <laughs> no one was shocked. Oh yeah, this is like okay, this is literally my first week at NYU and this is my dorm. I remember like the first week I literally like 
didn't go out to any of the like welcome parties and stuff because I was like, I need to get my room set up. Like I'm so like, I know that's like a quick time of like yeah, <laughs> everything I, uh -huh. together. I have very like, it's my earth in my chart and I'm like, I need to have like in my Taurus moon. It's like, I have to have everything like really like cozy and settled before I that can makes like sense, do anything. House is, like, Cozy, cozy, cozy. Yeah. So what's and the vibe of this room? It's just look how what gay inspired it is. you. It's so gay. This is it's gay. What makes this look, room gay? Look at all the women on the walls. And <laughs> they're all gay women. Females. Yeah, and like the girls that I had crushes on all in the little polars in the back, those are all. Are they random that, like, girls? Like from your some life girls that or I knew. celebrities? No, there's some girls that I knew that I took pictures of. That are just that I definitely had crushes on for sure. Did they know they were on your wall? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did they know why? Uh and you know what the worst part about this photo is? It's my biggest dick ever in a person. The wide brimmed hat. The what? The, oh. the hat. <laughs> it's giving me like a Stevie Nicks vibe. No, I you, I literally like, there's nothing worse to me than a wide brimmed hat. Are you can't blame yourself for wearing yes, that hat? Yes, And I wore this hat. I wore it all the time. <laughs> oh, maybe I'd put out my video explosion, which was my first like big music video moment. Um, yeah, I feel like I, this was when I, if this is what it is, is when I first like found my um, kind of just like the direction I wanted to go as an artist. Okay. Were you yeah. seeing anyone? Were you? Did you have inspiration to write about? Yes, I was in love with my best friend. It was really crazy. We kind of looked a little bit alike, and we would dress the same and go out, and we had an Instagram together. It was really weird. <laughs> that that is interesting. So did you end up but, together? Um, no, we didn't end up together. She did not have feelings for me back, and I wrote a song about it. No. <laughs> Why do you? Up. What what is going through your like? Okay, you just look. I not... thought I looked so sick. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely from the Tumblr era. Um, I had like, a... give me that face right now. Like, what is? I can't even do that anymore. It's like, see, this is when I like didn't care about like said... the fact that I had no lips at all. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> you said I was literally like, I'm just gonna, like... I'm gonna hide them. <laughs> Why are we wearing? I, yes. you know what, this was, this was like the sporty, cyber goth, soft grunge era of Tumblr. Mm -hmm. I took this disposable camera everywhere and I like wore this. I remember in an interview at the time, somebody was like, if you had to wear one outfit for the rest of your life, what would it be? And I was like, tennis skirt, Adidas bra, and platforms. Wow. And I'm like, that's what that, that's what that and was. And you are. And so... I was definitely like out of rave. A yeah, rave girl? I was at a rave for So sure. would we ever rewear this outfit to this day? Absolutely not. No Agreed. way. <laughs> no. All right, let's see. Oh, sexy stupid though. Oh, What's yeah, that? Oh, yeah, that was my Tumblr handle. Sexy what stupid. Makes, what makes you sexy stupid? I, in high school came up with that. I was like, I love that those two words together. Sexy stupid. Is that how you feel still? Mm. Uh, is this when Bloodstream came out? I think. Is this when our video came out? <laughs> Maybe. You tell me, what do you think? I think, I think that's so, what. Is that what we're going with? Or like right after it came out, yeah. I think that's what we're going with. Yeah. Okay, I just had to say, I loved doing this freaking video with you. Oh, me. it was so fun. This was a moment. It was such a moment. But I feel like we did a chemistry read and it was just like yes. a vibe right off of that. Right off of that. One of my friends was like, how many times everyone thinks that we're in a relationship? Yeah. Well. yeah. They said the chemistry is just so good. Yeah, there's still comments. There's so always, always to this always, day. Yeah. And I just came out of that being in a relationship. Everyone's like, and it's Zoe! Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, ooh. I'm like, I'll let you, I'll let you all run with yeah. this. Because <laughs> they're always like, and my friends are like, because the way you kiss. I'm like, it's yeah, great yes. chemistry. Great chemistry. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we really read very well on camera, too. And also, we just like, we made a beautiful friendship out of it. We did. Which is so nice. Now I know what Futch is and Stud Country yeah, and all I'm, these queer I'm bringing places. You around, bringing you around all bringing the me gay all around. places. I guess I was in my last month of living in New York before I moved to LA. Okay. I think. Was that a good time or? No, I was ready to leave. I was so excited to leave. And you were coming yeah. to LA? Yeah. So what are you thinking is this photo? Mm. Maybe with my ex. I don't know, no, maybe not. Do you have photos of your ex online still? Mm, actually, maybe not. Yeah, that was my ex. <laughs> <laughs> really? That That's your ex? ex? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not know that when yeah. I seen this video. Yeah. So explain this. You know what? Like, I can look at this video and these pictures of us together and be like, it doesn't even feel like it's her. It's just like a character. You know what I mean? Which is it's, it's nice. <laughs> it's like, I don't feel like I need to scrub these from the internet. Or I don't, I don't feel like, even after the breakup, like didn't feel like triggered looking at these pictures because I'm like, what a beautiful, we make, 
I don't know why I let her co-direct this with me, but anyways, we co-directed a music video together and um, yeah, we both were in it and we recreated all of these like iconic old like sapphic paintings. Um, so this was a sapphic painting that we recreated of Sappho. And um, yeah, I love that. I mean, I think that the imagery in this is so pretty. Were you like fully Proud blown in love here? No, I was never full blown in love hmm. in this era i was in i was in addiction <laughs> love addiction love addiction yes oh addicted to love yeah yeah well. but it, li it literally is exactly it's this um old painting of sappho who is where the the word lesbian and the word sapphic comes from is the goddess sappho who is this greek poet and she lived on the island of lesbos that's I a real place this. yeah and so it was a painting of her and her lover mm -hmm. and we recreated that these dresses were so fun. I think we rented them from like a costume rental warehouse nice. or something. Beautiful. Um, but I could so live in that era and like wear those. I would love to wear those dresses, petticoats, corsets. I feel like like getting those on, oh. like all the different things. It's such a it's, journey. Oh my god, I love it. But that's crazy. I love so that's corset. where the world, the word lesbian comes from. Yeah, is that story that you just yeah. told? Isn't that crazy? You learn something. Dresses. I've heard it before, but I'm like, yeah. you learn something new every day. Right? It's insane. Was this maybe around Pride? Potentially around pride. So maybe once again, instead of the American flag, we'll get a rainbow yeah, flag this time. I hope so. Oh no. She shredded <laughs> what? Look at little Zoe. Look at you. Aww. I wish I was as good as I used to be when I was that age. Why do you think you've been so gravitated towards like instruments, yeah. creating music, writing about oh my like gosh. your life? I mean, at first, I think it was something that my dad and me like really bonded over and like shared. And he mm -hmm. um, is the one who got me into playing guitar and doing bluegrass. and. Um, but then as I got older and I was like, oh, like bluegrass is not like really what I want to do. I want to like, I want to play Hannah Montana and like write pop songs. Um, then music really just became like, and playing guitar and stuff became like just an outlet for me to like yeah. talk about what was going on in my life. And yeah, I remember when I was seven was when I wrote my first song. And was it was, that? it was because I was really disgruntled because my mom and dad were trying to make me eat broccoli and I wrote a song about it. And I like it go? wrote it and I left it? it under their door. It was like, sometimes it is easy, sometimes it is hard uh -huh. in life. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's Where's the broccoli went. coming? Yeah. Maybe eat my broccoli. Yes. No, like, literally. So damn hard. <laughs> <laughs> no. Genius kidding. from the start. Yep. Yeah. It's and, like I'm gonna tell it. Do and you, uh, do you feel like expressing yourself through music helped on your coming out journey? Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a first song or album that you associate like more with childhood and what you went through? Absolutely. It's Let Go by Avril Lavigne. That album, and it still hits for me. It's still my favorite album of all time. Um, but that is just like, yeah. That I feel is, like you that did Avril childhood. moments, like in that last outfit. Yes, you, like, yes. It was, it was straight up an Avril Lavigne vibe. Yeah. 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 I love Avril so much. And that's just such a brilliant album. It's so good. Yeah. Let's think. This is... This is in college. I probably am in my mode of like being the beginning of college and like thinking I'm really cool. Maybe I'm wearing a beanie. I could be wearing a beanie. I was a hat. Is it girl. getting like emo? Yeah, maybe. I was that like, hat was more just, like that. Yeah, vibes. It could We're getting be, more emo now. Yeah, it could be getting a little okay. more emo. Hmm. You have so many different phases of your oh, of your vibe. So many phases. I love getting to I think it's so fun that like through clothing we can express like the changes that we are going through like, sure. the things that we're feeling yeah. what's a vibe you've yet to explore but oh are considering my God. what um, have you not touched yet what have I not touched huh mm. maybe like like Ren Faire like what is that cottage core like Ren Faire aesthetic like medieval oh like I haven't really done that like the ears and stuff <laughs> Ears? You know what I'm talking about? The point kind of. Like, like the elf thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you're, you you think you might do that at some maybe. point? Maybe. Yeah, I could see myself like maybe going through that phase. What's a phase that you just would not go through and you see people in it and you're like, absolutely oh. not? Oh, like, like hat les like hey mama's hat lesbian, like hat and Calvin Klein sports bra. Really? Never. It's kind of hot a little bit. Absolutely not. Just a little bit. No. What? Okay, it's obviously like cocky and aggressive and like I too am much. I so uninterested and I hate it. <laughs> it's not for me. Hey, I don't, I'm like, put a little effort in. I mean, that's like swaggy. Like... No. 
<laughs> oh no, this is problematic. <laughs> what what makes you feel this type? Why are you feeling like this? Seeing this photo. What's going well, your head? I am dressed up. It's a Halloween costume. That's a Halloween costume. I, uh, yes, it is. And I'm, you're talking about effort. Well, That's a flannel. Well, I'm dressed up as somebody really problematic who has been canceled now. Um, at the time, wasn't fully canceled yet, but it's Terry Richardson. He's okay. a photographer, and he's a really a bad person and a bad he man. Is. And yeah. I didn't what made know you, that at the time. What made you want to dress up as him? Because I was like in my photography era, and I was like. He like was known to take these like iconic portraits of like he's taking like the Obamas yeah. and like he's it's all these iconic pictures, a whole entire photo book of Gaga. Yeah. And so that was my thing at the time with the flash photo, like taking cool portraits of portraits of people. So I was like, oh I'm gonna be Terry for Halloween. Are we thinking we should take it down now? You know? <laughs> or you're just gonna stand by it? I didn't know at the time. I feel like Halloween costumes, you like you can get a pass sometimes for dressing as yeah, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people wouldn't know that, who I was dressed as anyways. Yeah, no, I just thought you were in a flannel. But I did. I was Which like, I was like, that's so unlike you to be Oh, yeah. Also, after me, like, coming yeah, for is... all the hey mamas and stuff to be, like, <laughs> flipping I mean. to I was that like, picture is like, this is, like, the lowest so effort. Funny. If I'm, like, having a Halloween costume and yeah. someone showed up like this, I'd be like, get out. Yeah. April 27th, 2015. 2015 feels like such a nothing year. Like, what happened in 2015? Are you saying you felt nothing that year? I f I'm saying, Tell me like... More. What were you going through? I feel like I don't even... Oh! Maybe this was, like, when I was falling for my first love. That's big. What do you mean nothing? Around then. That's massive. I think that's when I met her. Still my, still in my life. Still a really good friend. She's still in your life. Yeah. A lot of people can't say that about their first love. Yeah. A lot of people pretty, are like... Pretty cool. We've had many eras together. I wish. Maybe it's her. I wish I was on the toast of my first <laughs> love. Let's see. No, it's, it's my not sister. her. <laughs> it's definitely not her. No. That Aww, way. This is a cute video. Wait. Yeah. She's so little. Isn't that cute? She's so little. Uh -huh. Like, I see you, but your sister yeah. looks so different here. Yeah. What's going on? So my sister started her YouTube channel when she was like 13 and living, she lived in New York with my mom for a year because okay. she went to ballet school and she didn't really have a lot of friends. So she, YouTube was like her comfort and she yeah. started making, I know, it really <laughs> paid off for her. Um, but she made me do all those trend videos with her and this is one of them, which is like the asking a question and then throwing flower in the face if you get it wrong. In the face? Yeah. That sounds aggressive. Yeah, it was really, yeah, it was aggressive. But it's such a cute, it's such a cute video. What's your favorite? Because you've made a lot, of, a lot of content with your sister. Yeah. And you also always have her in your music videos. Yes. Why is that? Do you just feel like every just, project you want her to be a part of? Definitely. Because, yeah. Like now it's a thing, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, yeah, I love Luna making cameos in all the videos. And also I'm just like, I think my sister is the coolest, smartest, most beautiful person in the world. And like just like... Any chance to be associated with her, I like love. I love that. <laughs> but I'm also gonna put you on blast. Yeah. Our friendship was almost broken. What? Do you remember why? Wait. Our friendship was Our almost friendship. broken? Because what did you do? Because of my sister. What did you do with the music video? Oh God. What did oh you do? yeah. Okay, okay. Tell okay, the okay. people. Oh I was God, ready. I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Um, on, okay. <laughs> on, yeah, you really made me sweat. Um, on the music video, we had the talent portion mm -hmm. and of the pageant, and my sister was doing a ballet dance, and she's a classically professional trained ballerina. ballerina. And I had her do her ballet dance, and then I put Kira up there to ribbon dance, which you ribbon ne dance. had never done before. Ribbon in dance. A in a leotard, and you. Killed I, it in a purple leotard. I look like the girl from Willy Wonka, like the blueberry <laughs> girl. Sorry. And this is like this lyrical ballet dance that her sister is doing, like Oscar <laughs> award needed. Everyone's like in tears in the audience. And then she's like, all right, Kira, your next ribbon dance. I'm like, you could have put me first. No. You couldn't have done that. How you did it really. Danced? It was a tough act to follow and you really killed it. You I still did. don't know to this day if you're lying to me. No, you really did. You looked so graceful. I forgive you. This is probably when my album came out. No, wait, after that. Oh, on tour. Maybe I'm, I'm on tour. I think I'm on tour. And you're going on tour soon. Yeah. So let's see. Or maybe this is after tour. Yeah, this is not <laughs> A different kind of tour. Wow. At the Valley. Wow, I had someone on that their shirt said, I love Venus, and now we have I love, I love my moms. moms. I love this shirt. I wear it like it times. But I have a question. What? Have you ever dated a hot mom? I have not. And people have come for me that I like, I've actually never dated older, like 
older than so me. So the shirt's a lie. It is a lie. Wow. Okay, now I'm kind of getting, you know, a grasp on the, st uh, the stars here. So I feel like it's a throwback picture that I posted in 2020. The stars? The little stars that are next to the... Oh. I feel like that's... Maybe Look at you trying to figure stuff out. Oh yeah, Look trying, at you trying to figure yeah. stuff out. <laughs> so it's what? So it might be, a, this might be like a throwback that I posted. <laughs> yeah, what is this? What is a throwback? What Wait, is this? Yeah, it's a throwback. Once again, oh, yeah. lumberjack Zoe now. I saw this pile of wood and I was in a juicy tracksuit and I was like that and I saw the axe and I was like, that would be a sick photo. I'm guessing you didn't <laughs> chop it yourself with that axe. Didn't chop it myself. But great for the photo. Um, great for the photo. Yeah. yeah, this was at the time I had this alter ego named Holly who was a valley girl. And it's she's kind of like the manifestations of who I could have become if I like stayed in Calabasas and like didn't mm. go to New York and just like leaned into like my valley girlness. Okay. That's Holly. So you would kind of just embody her sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So you have Holly, you have Zolita. Do you feel like giving yourself sometimes these other names so you're fun. able to embody different people? Yeah. Definitely. Why do you think you like why do you think that's something that's I just that think you do? it's so I think it's so fun. I think it makes things more exciting <laughs> to well, like just to like play different characters and like roles and take on different people. But you feel the most like Zoe or would you say I feel, yeah, 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 for sure. But I feel like Zoe and Zolita have a lot of crossover. I love that. Zolita's the more confident version of Zoe. I feel that. And the more like. It's like Sasha Fierce, Beyonce. Yeah, a little more like Leo vibes. And then Zoe's more Libra. I love I'm yeah. the Libra and Zoe. <laughs> like this is a few days ago, actually, right? Small Town Scandal, I think. Our video together, our country line dancing video. Oh my God. Ah! What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what Kira. happened? Oh, this was what so funny. Yeah, what happened, Kira? What I happened? think it was more in your jump, okay? You think it was, you think it was my fault? I, I was, I said, I tried my hardest. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I don't know if you tried your hardest there. So it's <laughs> my, let's really. <laughs> ass out for the world to see. This is why people think we're in a relationship. Because yes. we were just like out in the wilderness kissing making videos, like kissing, <laughs> and they're like, oh, they're just out there doing it. Yeah, they must be. They must be. They must be. Um, yeah, it's, it was, that was so funny, just like being, I feel like whenever, it's like when you fall and no one sees it, you know what I mean? Like, but then you post it in the video. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. But it's literally my favorite part of the whole music oh, video. it's so cute, so it's funny. It's everything. But I love making videos with you. It's, so, it's so much fun. And then you are free oh to go. Oh my God, wow, okay. <laughs> How do you I'm feel? Not, I'm not too sweaty. Or were you sweating at all? You came in and you said you were fine. Yeah, no, I think it was fine. I feel like there's only one moment, there's only one thing in there, maybe a couple of things. They were like, pretty easy on oh, you. Oh, they were a little problematic. Could be a little problematic. I think that's always, that's the thing that, you know, makes people sweat, right? It's like. Hey, but you said you're gonna, gonna stand by it. That. Yeah, no, I feel like you also covered a good amount of different eras. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite? I mean, I love that Renaissance painting. No, that was beautiful. One. Yeah, that is like an image that I'm just proud of. Yeah. So maybe yeah. that one or Little Me playing guitar. If there was anything that you could say to Little Zoe, because uh -huh. it sounds like you had some inner issues yeah. of like how you saw yourself and yeah. your worth. What would you say to her? Ooh, that. The thing that makes you special is not gonna is not the way that you look. The thing that makes you special is like the way you see the world and like the stories that you're gonna tell and the communities that you'll highlight while telling those stories. I love that. Yeah. You are a girl putting out hit after hit. <laughs> Anything you wanna plug so the audience can find yeah. you and see what's coming up for Miss Zolita? Yes, I have an album coming out May 31st, which is very exciting. And uh, our video, two of our videos are from the album, Bloodstream and Small Town Scandal. Yes. Check those out. And then my uh, tour, I'm going on a headline tour all of September and October. So Ooh. all over the US. And didn't I see that you were doing like an actual pageant? pageant? And I'm doing pride pageants there in you go. May and June. Pride. So happy almost pride. Come show out. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Zolita. Thank you. Make sure to join us next week on Digital Footprint.